How's that? I suppose you'll have to do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to... Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Always at your service, my good prince. Greetings, sir. You're not going to leave me stranded in this wilderness, are you? Come on, they're waiting for you in the kitchen. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Nasty business down the industrial. Apologies, Prince, but the library's been decreed off-limits. King Logan is conducting official business. Every time I hear that, I get nervous. Who knows what he's going to do next? Well, come on. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You have all been through some difficult times. And the King has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors, then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? <laughs>